welcome back. It's another astonishing episode of Whining About Pest Control. I am Shell Hartzer, 360 Pest Consulting, and apparently I haven't been doing enough whining about cockroaches. So today, we're gonna whine about cockroaches, specifically German cockroaches. And because German cockroaches do not come from Germany, I am drinking an Austrian, not a German wine, Gruner Weichneiner. Cheers. Hmm, it's really interesting. All right, did you know that termites and cockroaches are pretty closely related? In fact, they're the same order of insects. And so if you remember back to junior high, all living things are organized into kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, species. And so these are in the same order. And when you think of it, they have a lot of similarities. Cockroaches are decomposers. They take all that fruit, vegetable, plant material, break it down, return all those nutrients to the soil. Termites are decomposers. They're just specializing on wood. Termites form colonies, they're social insects. And many species of cockroaches, while not truly social, they're gonna be found in large groups, sharing that space, sharing those food resources. Specifically for German cockroaches, we know they also like to hide. They don't wanna be out in the open. They like small, dark places where it feels safe. And while they don't exactly care for the young, the immature cockroaches are gonna feed off those little particles of food that might stick to the adults they're bringing back to that harborage. They'll feed off the droppings and they'll even feed off the dead cockroaches that are there. So they really don't have to come out of their hiding spot. They just feed off what the adults are bringing back to them. Kind of like termites. Who cares about all the sciencey stuff? We're here to whine about control. However, all that sciencey stuff helps us with control because we know that only about 20% of the colony are adults. The rest are the immatures and they're the ones that are hiding. They may not come out, which means we're essentially treating for the adults. It's going to be really hard to get to those immatures. It's similar to the termites in their colonies. And that's why baits are super effective for both German cockroaches and termites. I'm a huge fan of baits. Love the baits. Let's be real. Baits take a while. They're not immediate. The adults have to pick it up, get it back to their home, share it with all their little friends, and then die out. And with baits, you won't see a bunch of dead cockroaches. This can be a good thing because customers don't like to see any bugs, or it can be a bad thing because they don't see the carnage left behind from your treatment and they might think it's not working. Now with that, I'm not opposed to using a liquid residual for control as long as it's used with other methods. It cannot be the only treatment that gets applied. And I got a lot of questions about this, basically wondering if the liquid and the bait, how it works, does the liquid like deactivate or cover up the bait? And the quick answer is no, it won't. Here's the thing. You're typically putting bait in different areas than where you're putting that liquid residual. The liquid is gonna be low along the baseboards, the edges, the corners. The baits should be placed closer to the cockroaches, often higher, like the back of a refrigerator on the side of a dishwasher. Those two treatments should not overlap very much. They're gonna to work together though. The one exception to this, if you or your customer are using one of those store-bought sprays, those are usually repellents. They will chase the cockroaches away from your bait deeper into their hiding spots. Not what you want. One last note on treatment. I am also a huge fan of insect growth regulators, IGRs. Definitely mix in that IGR with your liquid residual. It's going to help immensely, give you really good residual control. Future episodes, I will talk about IGRs. I'll talk about more. There's always more. So have a glass, place some bait, and you can always whine to me about your German cockroach or other pest challenges. Helpful information down below. Share with your colleagues and comrades. Hit all those social media buttons because you don't want to miss out on what we've got there. And until next time, cheers to German cockroaches. Mm -hmm.